Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal and I have brought out my brand new Thompson Center Compass in 300 wind mag. So, let me tell you the story on this one. My friend Alabama Arsenal, y'all go check out his channel if you don't watch him already. He said he was going to go shoot a mile and he said, man, you want to come with me? I said, yeah. And I said, just to be funny, I'm going to go buy the cheapest 300 wind mag that I can find. And we're going to shoot a mile with the cheapest 300 wind mag I can find. So I looked around and I contacted Gun Prime and said, I want to buy the cheapest 300 wind mag that you have. And this was it. So shout out to Gun Prime. They're one of the only places that I can find anything anymore. And I got this uh, Thompson Center Compass. They are not expensive rifles, uh, but... In my experience, they're pretty good. I have this exact same rifle in 338 wind mag, and I absolutely love it. But, took this thing out at a mile. Well, let me back up. First, we needed ammo. This was the only halfway decent ammo that I could find in town. This is the Meat Eater Edition Federal. 165 grain. Uh, what do they call this? Trophy copper stuff. Supposed to be good, right? So... Uh, the only other stuff I had was lead nose hunting stuff, so I said, surely we can do that. Did the math. You know, shooting long distance is not that hard. You just have to have enough dials in your scope. So did the numbers. Clickety-clickety gave her all the zooms. Fired this rifle probably 30 times, and we couldn't even see where the bullets were hitting. Uh, maybe it was the wind, who knows. But, for this video... We are going to sight this in and see if this rifle likes this ammo. If it does, then we're going to take it out to a mile and try it again. If it doesn't, I'm going to find some better ammo for it. Uh, what I really wanted was Norma Bond Strike to shoot a mile. It has the best BC 300 wind mag I could, I could find. But nobody's got the Norma Bond Strike in stock. Um, so we had to find... Uh, this random stuff, I literally went and spent like $300 on like a bunch of this stuff and it turned out even not working. Anyways, um, this is my Thompson Center Compass. Quick run through, come with a threaded barrel, uh, synthetic stock, I put a Nikon, uh, what is this called, Nikon FX1000 on top. Used to have this scope on my 338 Lapua. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can get any sort of decent groups with this. First, I'm going to bore sight it uh, just on paper real quick. And then we're going to shoot it at 100 yards and see what kind of groups we can get. I really want this to be a good rifle. Uh, budget rifle. You guys know me. I absolutely love them. Um, that's my jam, shooting budget hunting rifles. But... Let's see what we can do with this baby at 100 yards. Hopefully it does something good for us. So, I got a little piece of paper, paper plate out there at 10 yards. And I'm going to use this laser bore sighter. Finally got one of these after uh, sighting in a thousand rifles and you guys telling me, you need a laser bore sighter. Uh, these are surprisingly super cheap. Uh, yeah, it will save you a ton of money. So, I'll, I'll see if I can find the link for this one. They're super cheap. Like I said, I couldn't even believe how cheap it was. And uh, see if I can find this one and, and put the link in the description if you're feeling froggy and want to find it. But all you do, really, is stick this end in the end of the barrel and then click on that little laser. And then you align your scope to where the laser's hitting on that plate. So... Let me find the little doodad that's going to fit this rifle. Uh, it's probably that one. So, get to where you can see what I'm doing. You just find the little adapter that's close to the inside diameter of the barrel, and then just screw it in the end there. Alright now, so at 10 yards, I got that laser hitting about, oh, about three, three and a half inches low, and I think... And that's at 10 yards, so when we go back to 100, I think it ought to be pretty close the way that that bullet trajectory is. But let's go back to 100 and get this thing sighted in. See if these uh, meat eater rounds really are some garbage. Or 
if maybe we were just having a bad day, some bad conditions. But uh, that's the goal. Thompson Center Compass, we're going to shoot it at a mile. If this ammo doesn't work in this rifle, we'll find some better ammo. But let's go back to 100, sight this thing in real quick, see how this ammo groups for us. Like I was saying, I really hope that this rifle does like this ammo because we paid a pretty penny for quite a bit of ammo. So we'd have enough to go uh, get this rifle sighted in at a mile. So let me, uh, I'm gonna put three in the mag here. These compasses have a external mag. And we're, we got two paper plates down there at the end of the uh, range here. Let's see where this scope is at and probably adjust it a little bit. <clears throat> ants all over this table you see me jumping it's because there's ants biting me all right let's go for that top plate first this scope we're gonna give it all the zooms and on this one it's 24 zoomies so let's see what we can do here just the parallax 100 yards Hopefully, we've got it close enough to hit a paper plate here. About to find out. 300 wind mag, better brace for impact on this thing. Yeah. Felt like a good trigger pull. Looks like we hit the plate uh, just on the top brim of it. So. We need to come down quite a bit, so let me adjust up. I'm going to adjust the scope to the top of that plate, and then we'll bring it down that distance. Right there. Then I got feel like I got ants all over me now. Let's fire another one and see what happens. Hopefully I adjusted that the right way. And I got nothing, so we went the wrong way. What in the devil? I'm so confused now. So I got a 20 MOA rail on here. And I just turned that scope all the way down. It won't even go down anymore. But surely we could still sight this in at 100 yards, don't you think? Well, I'm just going to stop the camera go real close. Maybe 30 yards and shoot and see where we're at. Alright, so, if you notice, I got a different shirt on right now. That's because in the, the start of this video, um, where we were starting to get it sighted in, that was a completely different day. But I was having a terrible time getting this... 300 wind mag on paper just at 50 yards we'll come to find out the rail had uh, come loose and was just sitting there teeter-tottering so um, that's what was giving us so many issues the the scope was not on at all so between that video and getting it back on uh, close today I probably spent $200 <laughs> in this super expensive uh, Federal premium trophy copper stuff, uh, but I think we're back to being bore sighted again. Hopefully where we can get a, a hit on a paper plate at a hundred yards now. I had two boxes of this stuff. Paid, what did I pay for this? I paid $72 a box for this, including tax. And now uh, I've shot both of those boxes except for four bullets just to get this sucker sighted in. Oh man, I could cry. <laughs> but, um, so what that means is we've got four, uh, four bullets here to hopefully get this thing sighted in dead on at 100 yards and then we'll come back and do some, some more ammo tests or something. But I've only got four bullets to finish this video, so y'all cross your fingers that this bore sighting job again for the second time was close 
Let's fling a bullet down there and see if we can hit a paper plate at 100 yards. It's my first time using this lead sled too. Uh, Randy, I think Randy brought this down. I appreciate you, Randy. Let's go ahead and give her all the zooms here. No weeble wobble in that rail anymore. See what happens. Probably need some more adjustment here. Definitely like the adjustments on this thing. Where are we at? That top plate there. Let's squeeze that trigger. Ooh, we actually hit the paper plate. If that wasn't going to hit the paper plate, I was just going to throw this rifle in the trash. What it hit the paper plate? Be real careful about my clicks here now. I can't be all goofy like I normally am. I'm going to come up four clicks. And I'm going to go left seven clicks. Normally I have those paper plates marked off with inch marks, but I didn't do that this time for some random reason. Uh, let's take another shot and see where we're at. Hopefully closer to the, uh, the bullseye. <laughs> Cross your fingers here. It's been a heck of a time with this rifle so far. Heck of a time. I do love this uh, lead sled. I'm going to use this for sighting in videos from now on. Hey, that wasn't too bad right there. How about that? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just shoot a three-shot group there. So we'll have something of a video. <laughs> uh, let me add in this other one. So that was the, our, our one shot on this group. And I've got two rounds left. So we can see um, if this rifle... Uh, if this ammo is any count to this rifle. So see what we can do. I'm going to shoot two more with that same hold there. Almost the same hole. I like it. So I think the, the screwiness of getting this sighted in after the bat was just the fact that that rail wasn't completely tightened down when we were trying to sight it in before. Take this one last shot here. Where are we at? Well, that third shot was a tad bit low of the other two, but hey, I'm good at calling that sighted in at 100 yards with this ammo. Let's go down there and check it out quick. All right, so walking up to our 100 yard paper plate here, that was our first shot, and then this was our three shot group with that ammo, so. Not too terrible. Uh, it's definitely within an inch, but those two were touching. I think we could uh, probably improve that even a little bit more. Oh, but I tell you what, guys, that was a lot of trouble. I can't tell you exactly why, but this rifle, for some reason, was the hardest sight in I have probably ever done. Like I said, I spent 150 bucks. These two boxes were full, now they're completely empty. I spent $150 sighting this rifle in, but hey, some of that's on me when I came to sight it out the first time. I should have double checked that rail, uh, but now that she's loctited and torqued down for sure, uh, hey, after a second bore sight, really after just two shots, <laughs> we got it sighted in dead on at a hunter, but I've got a little bit, uh, a couple different types of 300 Win Mag ammo. So I'm going to do a follow-up video on this one, just doing an ammo test with this Thompson Center, saying what different bullet weights um, and brands does it like the best as far as grouping goes. So stay tuned. Um, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that 300 Win Mag um, ammo test video. <laughs> if I hadn't used this thing twice, bore sighted this rifle twice, probably would have cost us $300 to sight this thing in. But overall, hey... I have been impressed with these Thompson Center compasses. Um, like I think I said earlier, I've got the 338 Win Mag, and I've shot the 30 out six. But for the money, I think they're absolutely great. Stay tuned for more videos with this rifle. 
Don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below. As always, appreciate you guys big time. Stay tuned for more videos. We got a ton more on the way. Big thanks to Heavy Metal. Y'all go check them out. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo -hoo.